Welcome to video two. This video is on critical pedagogy. We're listening into a conversation between Michaela Ford and Jennifer Randall, where Michaela is discussing a poem that she wrote for this SEEDS project that's entitled Meet Me and is in the spirit of meeting people where they are rather than where we want them to be. What the poem essentially is about, um, I called it Meet Me because um, I felt that ultimately, if we were to sum up critical pedagogy, it would be in those two words. Um, and in the poem, I touch on two identities um, to illustrate how identities are shaped by, you know, circumstances out of people's control, such as like how they were raised and the ideas that were around them as they were growing up, um, our access to resources and things like this. So in the poem, initially we meet a white individual who has been raised to blame outsiders and non-white people for their experiences in education, um, i.e. why they're not achieving as well as their peers at school and how they're taught that who they are isn't important anymore because other people have taken that position of importance um, and I use that identity to illustrate that people have beliefs um, that are given to them and not necessarily the beliefs that are formed by by themselves um, and then I touch on the identity of a black individual and the circumstances that would have shaped their um, their experiences and identity and actually, a lot of that part of the poem comes from my own um, understandings of education or misunderstandings of education, um, talking about how we have to, we gain education, but with everything up against us. Um, and basically, you know, I say all of that to say that when you meet somebody or you meet a teacher or a lecturer or someone in education who sees who sees you, not your circumstances um, necessarily, like not necessarily the, um, the they, they see the things that have contributed to who you've become and they're able to see that and, and converse with a person and exchange with a person to understand why they're the person that they are. And that, that relationship is given on both sides. So you as a lecturer would learn, I am this way because of this. And I, as your student will learn, also learn, I am this way because of this, but we gain a better understanding of who we are um, and then can relate to each other based on the things that we understand, but also learn from each other to maybe um, correct some of the things that might not be necessarily um, true, um, i.e., you know, the white individual in my poem says, you know, I'm, I, I don't do as well at school because black people and people of color are more important than I am. Um, when actually, when you exchange, have an exchange with like a lecturer, you'll come to understand actually there's politics involved and there's other things that shape those environments as to why you're having the experiences that you are, but it's not, it's not someone dictating to you who you are. It's the person helping you to understand who you are and why you are the way you are. And it's a, it's reciprocal, it's give and take. And I think when you have that kind of relationship in education, you, you see the things that shape you and then you recognize those things and then you work to change them. But in this relationship where there's critical pedagogy, you work together, you know, you work together to change these things because you understand that both of you are impacted by these things, you know, and it takes the lecturer to have to put aside their misunderstandings or assumptions or preconceptions of an individual. And it also takes the student to, to do the same. But once you can move past that, there's, a, a, there's opportunities for like really solid 
important relationships to take place that can really affect change and, and create changes outside of that, that institution, you know, um, as we've seen with yours and my friendship, we've learned so much from each other and we continue to learn so much from each other. And that's because I feel I can be myself with you, but you are not trying to force feed um, education down my throat. You're not trying to say, this is who you are. And this is why you are. you've listened and you said, okay, I, I get that. I, I'm willing to learn about that. Um, and did you know that X, Y, and Z? And I'd be like, oh my God. So this is, this is why I experienced these things. And this is, th these are the factors that contribute to, to my experiences. And suddenly the world opens up um, and, you know, life isn't as black and white as it may have seemed in the beginning. And that's, that's kind of what I've taken from critical pedagogy and um, a relationship as opposed to a kind of academic foie gras, you know, where you're just shoving stuff, content and books and texts and all sorts of stuff down an individual's throat. Um, and that's essentially what that poem speaks about. It comes at it from an academic perspective, from a political perspective. It is very realistic in that, you know, sometimes these relationships can't be formed, but having the knowledge and understanding and experiences that show you they can be formed, it, it just adds weight and value to a critical pedagogy. And that's why it's so important in the fight against the war on drugs, so to speak, in that if you're going to talk to someone about substance use, you've got to know where they're at. You've got to meet them where they're at in their understanding and not belittle them and not make them feel stupid because they're not necessarily academic, but respect them as uh, experts by lived experience, respect their experiences and learn from their experiences and, and have that exchange with those individuals and eventually their understanding will grow, your understanding will grow, and, and you move forward together. But let's hear your poem. Thanks for writing it for this uh, project. And here we'll hear from the voice of Red Medusa. Meets me in my anger, an anger that has been planted in me since I was a child. My world tells me that I'm being left behind, that I fail at school because the world is against all things white, and I, being white, could never succeed now that the coloureds are more important than me, dare to meet me in my ignorance. Recognise that I might not know that these are lies. It's no mistake that I've been told that my home ain't safe when the news fills my views with false insights on race. See, I'm a racist. I'm just yet to see it. Witness the change. I'm just yet to be it. Come and meet me in spaces where I'm oppressed. Meet me in textbooks where truth is repressed. Meet me in my childhood classroom where pointing out the lies being read would see me abruptly sent out. See me as more than a troublemaker. Be the reason I refuse to accept that I'm worthless and worth less than society suggests. I need you to meet me with arms unfurled and judgment refrained. I need you to try and understand my pain. I need you to be okay with the possibility that there may be nothing for you to gain from our exchanges, be them brief or long. There is hope though. If you are willing to hold on and maybe learn something from me, Place your assumptions aside and be willing to see what's evaded your view. Because I can teach you, because I can teach too. Because I can reach new heights if you show that you believe that I can also achieve all the things you have and more. Even though I keep it secret that my study in my bedroom is a secondhand mattress that I found on the floor. And that I write all my essays on my phone because I can't afford the latest MacBook or laptop and don't have rich parents who fund me back home. But if you meet me where I'm at, I'll get that work done. And I'll get that first and that distinction despite all that I'm up against, I'll persevere. And knowing that I have you near believing in me will be enough to see me through. But until then, meet me in the gray areas between black and white. Meet me in the twilight between day and night. Meet me in the purgatory between heaven and hell. 
I live in these spaces. I can teach you as well. Let us challenge everything that we think that we know. Let us push back against that which keeps us from growing. We can challenge the discourse that says that we're wrong. Just meet me where I'm at and I might come along.